Through the arts, we make sense of the world. We see it through different eyes, we can create new worlds, experiment with the possible, invent and hypothesize, and reflect in new ways on what we think we know. We experience the arts holistically through the body and senses, brain and emotions all working together. From the very beginning, children learn through artistic play, learning behavior through pretend games, language through playing with words and rhymes, the body and senses by dance and rhythm and music, drawing and painting and making shapes. And at the end, it's their arts by which societies and civilizations are judged and remembered. Adults, just as much as children, most richly express our creativity and imagination through the arts. The 21st century is a place where both change and innovation are constant. And we need creativity more than ever before in our personal and social lives and in the world of work. In almost all careers and industries, employers want creative individuals. We live in an almost entirely designed environment where what we look at, listen to, the spaces we move in, the stories and images that surround us have been designed by others, sometimes for our benefit, sometimes not. So to take a full and rich part in our society, our children need to both understand and be able to manage this aesthetic dimension. To be artists and to be able to communicate, appreciate and critique the artwork of others. All this is in the rationale and aims of the arts curriculum and embedded in the content descriptions and elaborations. Each of the five art forms has its own symbols and languages that contribute uniquely to aesthetic knowledge, the artistic knowledge, the skills and the material. The artistic knowledge comprises the forms, elements and principles of each art and the key questions of meaning, culture, history and so on, which we need to ask in order to fully comprehend our own and others' artwork. In this curriculum, we call them viewpoints. Full aesthetic knowledge also comprises the skills, the techniques and processes by which artists create, develop, produce, perform and present art and understanding of the materials too, the human body and the other instruments and media through which each art is made. But they don't only work alone. There's rich connectivity between them and they work together and in conjunction with a whole curriculum. You can easily see this by looking at what they contribute to all the general capabilities. They develop both creative and critical thinking, Real cultural understanding is unthinkable without the arts. They're deeply collaborative, developing ensemble, social and teamwork skills. They work through complex language and technologies to develop both literacy and technological understanding. And there are proven links between one or more arts and numeracy, spatial awareness, spoken language, listening skills, interpreting skills, and kinesthetic skills. More and more, the arts are going to become central, not marginal, to the curriculum.